So this is another demo of some of the capabilities that Web Center adds to your ADF application. Um, so what you can see here is uh, usually when you create an ADF application, you create a connection to a database, right? But when you actually have the Web Center extension installed, you have many other types of connections that you can create. So things like um, the mail server that you have, or a discussion forum that you have. Or in this demo, we're going to use the content repository connection. So over here, you can connect to one of those uh, content management systems that Oracle provides. Uh, in my case, I don't actually have a, connect a content management system, so I'm just going to connect to the file system. So we'll call it a uh, demos deal. Okay, that's the name of the connection. And over here, you basically use a Linux type of notation to indicate the name of the directory that you want on your hard drive. So if you just want your root directory, just do the slash. In my case, I'm going into the demos directory on my hard drive, so this would basically translate into C uh, demos. Okay, and you can test the connection and see if it works okay. Uh, if you need to actually do um, authorization, you can also provide those. Okay, so you created the connection. What's next? Well, if you actually expand the connection over here, okay, you'll see that you'll be able to drag and drop it into your page, pretty much like you do with a normal data control. And then you get all sorts of things that you can actually do or uh, display the connection as. So let's do, for example, a document manager on this page. Okay. can specify parameters. In my case, I don't have anything special to specify. And basically what you got here, you can see it's a region with a task flow inside it. Okay. And this is something that Web Center gives you. You can now click Save and you can run the page. So when the page comes up, you basically have a view on your hard drive directory. Okay, so this is my demos directory. And you can do things in here. So for example, you can say, I want to create a new folder. Okay, call it sample. Okay. Then you can go into this folder. Uh, so I want to upload a file to this folder. So let's select the file. Okay, so let's, for example, pick up this image and click OK, and it allows me to edit. Okay, um, let's select some other files. Okay, so you can actually do it with multiple files, okay, and then you can click Upload, and now they are in this directory. So just to show you, if you actually pop up. Um, You pop up a file browser and you now go into C, okay, demos. You'll see there's a sample directory, and those three files are now in here. Okay, so all this work with the file system has been automated for me by using the Web Center capabilities. Okay, you can also do downloads of files, for example, take this and see it over here, right, like that. So back in J Developer, we can go and take, for example, another page and show you that there are, of course, as we said, other options of what can you drag things as. So um, first of all, you can actually go into specific folders and uh, specific files, sorry, and just drag and drop them. Okay, for example, to create an inline frame that shows this document in your page. Okay. And when you drag a complete connection, we dragged it and put it as a document management thing, but you can also put other stuff on the page. So when the page comes up, on the right side you basically see an inline frame that shows you the content of the document that I dragged over here. Okay. On the left you actually have uh, an opportunity to create a wiki document. So for example, okay, and you can call it 
and click save. You also have the HTML view, like that. So once you see this, you can actually go and open your document uh, management. So go and look, for example, under C demos, which is the director we were currently working in. Okay, and you should be able to find here if you sort by name a document called Hello World Doc. Okay, and if you drag it over here, you'll see this is basically what you just created from inside your application. So as you can see, Web Center basically adds a capability to completely work with pre-existing task flows uh, that work with your file system.